So now we're going to go over the upper digestive anatomy of the cat. Um, starting with a couple of the glands that you can find on the um, outside. So here we have the parotid gland, which is right behind the, um, the masseter muscle. Here is the uh, submaxillary gland, and this small gland here, uh, which lies kind of in front of it, is the sublingual gland. On this cat, we can see the, the cheeks and lips, and the vestibule, which is the area uh, in between the gums and the lips right here on the cat, right in there. Okay, so to see the upper digestive uh, anatomical structures on the inside of the mouth, um, during your dissection, you're gonna have to cut the jaw here and pull it back. So now we're gonna go through the rest of the structures. Um, we have the tongue, which has papillae on top uh, on them, and uh, they are very sharp, so just be careful of those little sharp-looking um, uh, projections on the tongue. Um, we have the hard, hard palate up here and the soft palate back here. Um, we have the nasopharynx, which you can't technically see, but if you uh, come up right up here from the soft palate to the hard palate, it's the opening that leads to the nasal passages. Then we have the pharynx, which is gonna be right around here in this region. Um, and the pharynx is the opening that's gonna lead to the esophagus and the trachea, uh, which we'll get to in just a second. So, nasopharynx here, pharynx right around here. Um, moving down, we have, um, so again, let's just review the larynx, which is this area here and the cartilage that lies on top. So we have uh, the hyoid bone is right up at the top. You can't see it, but you can feel it. So from here, uh, right below it, we have the thyroid cartilage on either side. And then down here, we have the cricoid cartilage. We open it up so that we can see the inside. We can see here, this little flap is the epiglottis. And it covers the glottis, which is the opening to the larynx. Um, right here, on top of the glottis, you can see these uh, uh, kind of, um, I guess, bumps right here. These are the vocal cords. Um, and then, which again leads down into the larynx and to the trachea. Um, there are two ways to keep food out of the trachea, and those include um, closing the, the epiglottis, which again is this flap here, and elevating the larynx when you're swallowing. So that's just a good thing to keep in mind. So then uh, moving on, we have the esophageal opening, which is going to be right around here, and that's going to lead into the esophagus, which is going to lead down into the um, cardiac portion of the stomach. Okay. And then if we just move back up a bit, we're going to have a small hole here. This uh, is leading out to the ears. This is a eustachian tube. Um, and there are ones on both sides, but it's a bit more difficult to see on this side. So you can see it really well right here. Okay. And that is the rest of the upper digestive anatomy.